Howdy, Tinker Nerds. One second. And post. Where would we be without blogs? Those ubiquitous pieces of internet real estate where people can spew whatever sappy internal garbage that's been brewing up inside of them ever since they started having feelings. Yeah, back before posting on the face tweet grams was a thing, blogs were pretty cool. And they're still pretty cool in my book, so I'm gonna show you how to make one all by your lonesome and host it on this teeny tiny Raspberry Pi computer. I really love me some Raspberry Pis. They sound so delicious and they're so daggone cute. All right, let's crack some chickens and make some eggs before they hatch. I went ahead and installed the Raspbian OS on the Pi and connected it up to my wireless network. So that we always know how to find it on the network, we should give it a static IP address instead of letting those silly little network gnomes determine that for us. Now all you have to do is snap your fingers and say Pyithemus Blogimus and a blog will magically appear. What do you mean no? You're saying I actually had to do some work? <sighs> Whose stupid idea was this anyway? Writing a blog from scratch can be very difficult, so that's not what I'm gonna do. Instead, I'm gonna take a shortcut and download the free and mega popular WordPress blogging platform. But Tinkernut, why can't I just go to wordpress.com, sign up for a free account, and then I don't have to install anything? Well, my snide little Donald Trump sounding friend, you're welcome to go right ahead and do that. But this tutorial is for the big kids that don't wanna hand their information over to a third party in exchange for a billboard. Before we can start running WordPress on the Raspberry Pi, we need to install three things. A web server, PHP, and a database. So let's knock those out. First, a web server. Now there are plenty to choose from, but Nginx is a good solution that works well with the Pi's limited resources. So after installing it, check it, start it, and get the status, and then if you open up a web browser, you can type in localhost, and you should see the Nginx splash page. Web server, check. Now let's go PHP. PHP is a scripting language that WordPress requires to run. I'm installing PHP 7.0, PHP FPM, and PHP MySQL. So that Nginx knows that we're using it, we can edit the Nginx defaults to look for PHP files. Now to test it out, we can create a new PHP file in the var www HTML folder and put this in it. Now save it and refresh your browser, and if you see this, then PHP is now installed. Two down, one to go. So let's select star from this tutorial and get a database installed. Commonly, MySQL is used as a WordPress database, but I'm installing MariaDB, which is completely compatible with MySQL, but with a few more features. Type this to launch MariaDB, and for security reasons, the first thing we should do is create a new root user with a password and grant it privileges to the database tables. Finally, let's create a table called WordPress. Yeah, I know, real original. Then type exit to exit the program. We have installed the three pillars for which to build our WordPress house upon. So let's build that house, my friends. Navigate to the var www folder and download the latest version of WordPress. Extract it and then rename the folder to match your website's name. Give yourself ownership of that folder and then let's rename the wp-config-sample.php file that's within the new folder to wp-config.php. Use nano to edit it and fill in the information for the database name, database username, and password. And then let's skip down to the keys and salts. That's right, we're about to salt our pie. Man, I am assaulting you with terrible jokes today, aren't I? Keys and salts are random characters WordPress uses to keep its content more secure. I used passwordsgenerator.net to generate the strings and just pasted them into the file. Now let's save that file and adjust our php.ini file to enable the fixed path info and set it to zero. Now save that one and let's go back to the Nginx defaults again and change it to point to where our website is located. After saving that, you should be able to refresh your web browser and see the WordPress setup page. Just follow the setup steps and Bob's your uncle, you're in. This is the back end of the website where you can upload files and create pages and posts. An important thing to do here is go into the settings and change the address URL fields either to your Raspberry Pi's IP address or to a nickname that you want to use for your site. If you go with the nickname option, you can edit the hosts file on your Pi to tell the computer to go to that IP address whenever the nickname is typed. And it works! 
If you want to access this from another computer on your network, edit that machine's host file as an administrator as well, and then save it. Then if you type the website's name into your web browser, it should pull up your website. So now your new blog should be accessible from anywhere inside your network. If you wanted it to be accessed from outside your network, then you're gonna have to set up port forwarding. How do you do that? Well, I'll discuss it in next week's video. Got any questions or tips about setting up your own WordPress blog? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any ideas, you can submit or vote for your favorites at tinkernut.com slash ideas. You can click here to watch more videos like this. And if you got any value out of my show and would like to give some value back, please feel free to donate at patreon.com slash tinkernut. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to youtube.com slash tinkernut.